Hi, Ball Charter students. I hope you are all doing well. I miss you so much. I miss your smiling faces. I miss your laughter. You know, I even miss you talking too much in the library. Can you imagine that? But it's true. So I have some stories to read to you, and I'm not going to do them all in this video. I brought a couple books home for the library from the library but I didn't bring enough and so I was going through Andy and Will's old books and while I was doing that you know some of their favorites that I'm so happy to be able to read again I came across and it's, it's gonna be backwards a Mad Libs <laughs> that Andy and Will had completed probably 10 years ago 10 12 years ago so here's one that I'm going to read to you and this is called the Island Cruise Last summer, my grandparents took us on a happy cruise around the Boy Islands. The cruise ship was really silly. It even had 22 swimming pools. My dad liked that you could eat seven times a day. I think he gained 7,000 pounds. Oh my goodness. Every day we stopped at some goofy island where everyone would start jumping. <laughs> One time we went snorkeling and I saw a pickle and a great white shark. Well, that makes sense, actually. At night on the ship, there, was, there were lots of sad things to do. On our last night, they had a... This is my boys. They had a farting contest. <laughs> and my mom won? What? Oh, my goodness. The prize was a free donut for the whole family. Well, I hope it was worth it. Oh, my goodness. I should have read ahead. <laughs> Oh, that's the joy of having kids. So anyway, I just thought I, I might share more of those before other stories. But, um, oh my goodness. So this first one, and I know it's going to be backwards, but Where the Wild Things Are. This book was so special to me and my boys. And in fact, if you look closely, you can see those are teeth marks where the boys just chewed the book. They loved the book so much they would eat their books. We don't recommend it, but that's just how much they love them. Okay, so the pictures are going to be backwards a little bit, and I apologize for that, but it is what it is. Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sundback. And we have this book in the library too, so when we get back to school, whenever that is, then maybe you might want to check it out. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Actually, I probably even need to. And another. Oh, there he is chasing his dog. Mm, Max, that is mischief. Don't be so mischievous. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Because you can't really talk to your mama like that, can you? And there's Max in his room, all angry. <laughs> that very night, Max's, in Max's room grew a forest. Look at that. The forest is growing in his bedroom. It's kind of magical. And grew... Up, sorry. and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Wow, that looks nothing like his bedroom. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. And there's his private boat where he's sailing off. <clears throat> and in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Ooh, kind of scary.
Let's see. Websites. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Until Max said, be still and tame them with a magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And he and made them king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. <clears throat> and for my kids, this page, because there were no words on it, they would get up and they would do their dance. They would just dance around and jump around and they'd have their own wild rumpus. And more wild rumpusing. This is kind of just, um, now, oh, did I miss a page? Sorry, I did miss a page. Yeah, here they are carrying Max on their backs, having a wild old rumpus time. But rumpus time has to come to an end. Now stop, Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without any, without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of, the wild, of where the wild things are. All that power, and he's still kind of lonely. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We love you. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. They couldn't scare him into staying because Max wanted to go to this most special place of all. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and almost a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. So even though his mama sent him to bed without any supper, she still couldn't let him starve. <laughs> and it was still hot. Oh, I've always loved that story. I've always loved it. It actually makes me tear up a little bit to read it because it's been a long time. So I hope that story. I hope you enjoyed this story and I will post more. Take care friends. See you.